Jim Juback and welcome to my Juback Asset Management YouTube video for Thursday, February 8th. I'm in Venice. I don't know if you can see the t-shirt. The University of Venice. Whoa, t-shirt. Okay, there it is. Okay, got it. Um, this video comes with a disclaimer, an audience warning. Um, this video is not suitable for all audiences because I'm going to sing. Okay, so if that uh, disturbs you, <laughs> please <laughs> um, do that, and I'll signal when we're all done. Okay, so um, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We do about three a week. That way, if you subscribe and it's free, you get notification when we do the next one. Uh, you can get more of my stuff, written stuff, uh, on my free site. That's jubackpicks.com. And that has three portfolios for dividends, 12 to 18 months, and then five years and longer. Um, and as I said, it's free. Or you can subscribe to my paid site. That's jubackassetmanagementjam.com. Um, and that has six portfolios, including some options and ETFs and really longer term plays, what I call my millennial portfolio. Uh, you can find links to all those down below. Uh, and as I said, I'm in Venice now uh, where we've moved for, I don't know, a couple of years. Uh, so if you want to follow my adventures or our adventures, my wife and I, in, in Venice, uh, we've started a sub stack, uh, which is also free. And you can find links to all those portfolios and information and Venice sub stack down below. Okay, so this week I've been singing to myself um, the lyrics to Cole Porter's uh, great song, uh, You're the Top. And it goes, you're the top, you're the Colosseum, you're the top, you're the Louvre Museum. And then it ends with, uh, baby, if I'm the bottom, you're the top. And well, if you can imagine what this is all about. It's about, well, is the market topping? Is we're about to head toward a bottom? And I also have another song, which I'm probably not going to sing, but at least I want to uh, read you the lyrics. For those of you who, who don't know, I'm a very big uh, cinephile. I love old movies. I love new movies. And Casablanca is one of my favorites. And in it, Dooley Wilson, who plays Sam, the piano player, sings um, As Time Goes By. And their lyrics, um, it's fairly, you know, not the first um, part of the song goes, it's still the same old story, a fight for love and glory, a case of do or die. It is the same old story for the stock market, not necessarily love and glory, but the, 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 the standard battle between fear, oh my God, it's going to crash, and greed, oh, give me the money, give me the money, give me the money, I'm afraid to miss out. Um, and we're at a point, the, the S&P, as I write, as I film this uh, on Wednesday, the 7th, is flirting with 5,000, which would be an all-time record and a big, big number. Uh, the stock market loves round numbers, so 5,000 would be a big deal for the S&P. Um, and that's crystallizing this conversation. So if you look at it, the fear is, well, we're at an all-time high, so we got to revert, we got to go back down. Um, we're at high valuations for something like uh, NVIDIA is trading at like PE of 88. Microsoft is at 36. Uh, whether those are too high or not is open to conjecture. Um, average markets, average stock in the, S the S&P is trading at about 25. So you're getting, uh, you're above that, but you're not a whole lot more given Microsoft's AI exposure. So but that's the fear. On the greed side, uh, we have the fact that a lot of investors got nervous in 2023 and sold and missed the big rally uh, in September. Uh, starting in September, that's taken us all the way up to this point. Um, and we're also looking at the Fed interest rate cuts starting in, well, uh, probably not March, but May, uh, June, July, more likely. How many will there be? There'll be at least two or three, I think. Uh, given what the Fed is talking about now. So don't want to miss those because they will drive the stock market up. So that's the balance you've got going on right now. How do I think you ought to play that? I think you ought to go with the greed side. Uh, not be greedy, but think about the market's greed. Uh, people are not going to move out of this market because they got burned in 2023. At least they're not going to move easily out of this market. 
Uh, second is no one wants to miss the first Fed rate cut. So people will stay in until at least then. So what I'm basically saying is I don't know whether we're going to get another big move up like this, or whether we get something that's more like this, maybe a little up or maybe just flat. Uh, market consolidating would be good. I, my, my tendency is to believe we're going to get something like a very, very, very um, modest curve up on anticipation of the, the rate cuts uh, on pretty decent um, profit outlooks for 2024, at least if you're one of the Magnificent Seven stocks. Uh, so I would stay around um, for another month or two and then rethink uh, and see whether this is the same old story and where we are in the song. So thanks very much for watching. If you like this video and found it useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and I promise, maybe as an added inducement, I promise not to sing next week. So, hey, you don't need to fear that. Uh, if you want more of my written stuff, uh, you can go to my free site, that's gbackpicks.com, uh, three portfolios, uh, or you can go to my subscription site, uh, gbackam.com, uh, and that's got six portfolios, including options plays, ETFs, and some really long-term uh, picks. Uh, and, uh, as I said, I moved to Venice, and if you want to follow our adventures, uh, our being my wife and myself, uh, we've started a Substack, uh, and that's free. And you can find links to all that stuff down below. Thanks for watching.